All right. Well, you know, we really got them now. As predicted, <laughs> we've got people suggesting now that they need to strip, you know, strip, take the funding from Ukraine and give it to Israel. <laughs> give it, hey, you know, we can't have that. Israel needs that, you know, Gaza is an existential threat to Israel. And th this is a, probably the top guy saying this is a senator, Josh Hawley. Josh Hawley is um, from Missouri. And there's other, there's other uh, Cretans who are saying this too. And it, this couldn't be a better um, situation in a way. Because it really, it, the snakes are really out of the grass, aren't they? How are they going to even, um, uh, you know, they, they, it needs to be, it needs to be put to these people again and again. And this needs to be just the hammer and anvil that just beats the, the truth out of these people. This is where we have, they need to explain why certain people matter more than others, don't they? They need to explain why it's good for Russians to eradicate uh, European nations and why it's more important to, to help uh, Israel. Like, I mean, and here, here's the thing. This applies to the, the a certain kind of... Um, Republican, conservative, Cretan, or whatever it is, or maybe, and, and it goes a little bit beyond that, but every, every kind of person who is pro-Israel, the, the fanatical Zionist, who's also against Ukraine and pro-Russia, the, the pro-Israel, pro-Russia, and not to, I mean, this, not to say this even reflects on um, Israel, it reflects on Russia, certainly. But even Israelis are telling Josh Hawley, shut up, shut the F up. They know the gig is up if he keeps with it. Even survivors of the, uh, Josh Hawley's like, we need to give all the money to Israel for the, even survivors of the attack who were under, uh, under fire from the Al Qassam br brigades are saying, shut the, shut up, you, you disgusting rat. You know, shut up. That's what they're saying. They're saying you could look in, look in the media and they're saying you're disgusting. You know, the senator, you're disgusting. This is the message from Israel. Howley, Josh Howley, you're disgusting. You know? <laughs> that's what that's what they say. They know this isn't the most intelligent thing, but we have a certain kind of dumb hillbilly here because we have so many unlettered just imbeciles. And especially when it comes to the Middle East, they know absolutely nothing. You know, I wouldn't, you know, you, they'll say the most bizarre stuff. Like, however many people will, will think, um, I mean, just the most insane takes. And you're hearing it all now. Because everyone has to have some kind of take to it. And it's always like, um, whoever they hate is responsible for um, Hamas or something. Because it's it's... The, the the juice ain't worth the squeeze in in Gaza, so you need to blame it really on someone else. You know, you you can't really get anything out of Gaza Strip, so you have to say that if you hate if you hate you know so and so you'll if you hate Russia you'll say Russia did it. If you hate Ukraine you say Ukraine did it or Iran. It's all way overblown. It's it's people are jumping the complete conclusion. If there's truth to this, let's hear it. But. You know, it's so, so far, so far, I mean, our, these people are really uh, running their miles beyond. But, but the people who we've really got are the pro-Russia, pro-Israel, anti-Ukraine. You know, every Ukrainian needs to die. Who, ca who cares about Ukraine? They're a bunch of Nazis. And we just need to let the Russians uh, starve them to death, just like they did before. And whatever. That's what they're saying, isn't it? And, and but Israel is under an existential threat. And this is what Josh Howley says. Because it's a, they're facing a much tougher opponent, the Israelis. They're up against Gaza Strip. 
and the and the Ukrainians uh, are only have to deal with the Russian army, which is nothing, you know. It's, it's anyone could. They're fine. So you can't really make the. This is this is the best. I mean, we've had. This is the best position we've had. Even though there's however many people saying this, and there's however many low life people in our country, we, and they're really coming out of the woodwork. So it, it it's it's like um. It's like Chesty Polar, where, you know, they, they've got us surrounded, and they ain't getting away this time. And <laughs> I think you just need to keep on pounding on the on these, uh, just pound away. Is it, this is a hammer and anvil. Why why do you say um, we, we need to get rid of uh, funding, you know, you won't fund the war for Europe, but it's important, you know, we need to... And they're even saying we need to strip that funding from Ukraine, take it right from like, I mean, I, I figured there'd be someone scummy enough to say that, but right off the bat, we even get a U.S. senator and we, we've really got the snakes right where they are. Because I didn't hear any Congress people, not a single Congress person said, um, they didn't say, hey, take the defund Ukraine and put the money to the border. They did. They never made anything. They only said just defund. We we need we we got to save the money. Even though the facts are that, you know, actually technically it's not really the biggest thing in the budget. You know, and we're getting actually a lot for. They they, they just defund defund because these are Putin Putin agents. They're pro Russians. They're they're the most people. These people are lying scums, and they don't want to come out and say, "I love Russia. I love Putin." So they come up with other ideologies like libertarianism and stuff like that. Most, most people know who, who would be interested in being a libertarian if you actually took power. Typically, you just, you, you know, there are people dumb, there are people who will actually internalize the stuff, but, you know, other people know this is just stuff you say to throw, throw like monkey wrenches in the gears of, of things. You know, if I, if I took over something, it, it ain't gonna be a libertarian regime, but the, uh, <laughs> but the you know, because it gives it, it gives it'd be, there'd be a real program to turn things around. Yeah, that's what you would need, not libertarian. Like anyway, this this it, okay, if, if if someone is against Ukraine and Israel, okay, whatever. None of this applies to you. But you could you could still. Actually, you could still say, hey, it's, it's, it's interesting, though, that you think that we should fund this country, but not that one. You know, you could, you could actually uh, chime in to, into this. But if, you're, if you yourself are like a pro-Russian, uh, let's say you're a pro-Russian anti-Israel, then you have nothing to say here. But if, if you're pro-Ukraine, whether or not you're into Israel, any pro-Ukraine person is actually in a good position to hit these people up. Because this is the correct position. So this is where these people can be um, broken. This is where we have an opportunity. This is where opportunities present. When you're on the path that's correct, you know, that's who, um, you know, the correct opportunities will be presented to. Whether or not this turns out to anything, and maybe our, our country is just, you know, is so overrun with the dumbest low-life people um, because most of the people's takes on on um, the Gaza stuff are not worth listening to from like either side. Pro probably most people, the the proper response probably for most Americans to like the 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 terrorist attack, you you should you should probably just say, well, this is this is this sounds pretty horrible. You know, <laughs> and that that's about all you need to say, like. Yeah, you know, a lot of people getting shot or something, you know, or or maybe something a little bit more, but maybe stay in your lane or in your wheelhouse or something. There's so much dumb stuff. Even um, I mean, I don't know. The way people think about war now, it, it's like you have like Goofy, uh, that Keith Woods guy, who's like, no, Hamas are ex are um, extreme. You know, they're they're a supreme gentlemen, and they, you know, they would never hurt a fly, and they, they go by the Geneva Conventions, and they respect Christians, and it's the dumbest that, like, what are you talking about? Um, 
I don't think Hamas even asked you to be their spokesperson, uh, Keith Woods. It, you know, this is, it's a terrorist group. They're supremely ruthless, and they are fighting from a position of despair where they're, and they're, I mean, they're clearly targeting civilians and just wiping, it's clearly they're going for the soft target and wiping people out. You know, this was clear within minutes of the attack. If you watched the last show, which was in, uh, within hours of the attack, this was covered. But <laughs> this, this is so perfect. It, it just, again, as long as the situation remains, just just put it to these people. Why is why why are, are the is the Jewish state more important than than Europe? You know, because because if you look at the casualties, Russian artillery pouring down on like cities of people is, is going to inflict way more casualties and has on civilians where they're putting rockets right into uh, theaters and purposely killing people in every which way. You know, the Ru Russians just just hit. Uh, they just attacked a, a soldier's wake with uh, a guided missile, and they wiped out like an entire village of people. They killed the soldiers. Uh, his whole family was there, and they are all dead now too. And um, this is what Josh Hawley supports. This is what Repu this is what all the Josh Hawley scumbags support. But if if there's um, a Palestinian terrorist opens fire on, we need to mobilize our aircraft carriers and give Israel every penny, give them every weapon, give them the HIMARS, give them the, you know, because they need that to uh, ethnic cleanse Gaza or something or whatever Holly's idiot view is, you know. And it, it's it's really idiots on both sides. And, and let me, it's mostly, it's gonna be, we're gonna run into the Christian Zionist ideology. That's what Josh Hawley, Josh Hawley, if you, the first word on his Twitter, it says Christian. Mm. It's really Christian though, like to, um, to be a gung-ho Zionist and to not give a, a hoot about people dying who, they're, who are European. Mm. He, he does not care. He only cares about like, um, you know, if there's like a abortion clinic in downtown in like st louis ghetto or something then he'd be like uh i don't know i don't know then he cares about like human life or something give me a break like these people like it's so sick of the they're just complete hypocrites and it's just sometimes it's just like you just look at like across the board of the whole political spectrum and just think like it's just complete morons and it's just you just think like Maybe our country is like disgusting, like how dumb people are. I mean, maybe maybe it's just a, a a fallen, you know, it's just a fallen race, and that's why, you know, Christianity makes so much sense. Because if you speak the truth, you know, people hate you. People hate your guts. Like Jesus Christ, when when he spoke the truth, everyone hated him, and no one wanted to listen, and then they just killed him. But they'll listen to. Though I like Josh Howley for Senator or something, who's just a complete animal brute, you know, just disgrace to the human race. You know, th there's just not enough bad things that could be said about these people, and they're just gonna just, just taking our whole country and just smearing their crap all over it. Like, it, it, it's, it's like, you know, e e even from Israel, they're like, you're, you're disgusting. <laughs> but like, we have people who are just clueless, they're just dumb, you know. So it, it, and it's almost like a whole world problem, just the amount of lies that come out. Because then you get into however much dissident um, nonsense and all that. I mean, the, like, keep in mind, that's the Christian, there's Christian Zionism, and then maybe another good part of this prism of lies that we're looking into with everyone's bad takes is the Arab anti-Zionism, which is filled with lies as well. Because every... Arab regimes have to, they have to put on a show of being um, anti-Zionist. In the same way that uh, North Koreans every now and then have to be like, we're going to kick, we're going to kick the hell out of the U.S., you know, <laughs> like only we can defend against, you know, with like Juche and we, de you know, so that's how he gets his legitimacy because he can like stand up to the West. 
in North Korea, you know, Kim Jong-il, Kim Jong-un, that's their thing. They're not that serious about it. They're probably not that interested in, in going to war with America, but this is a lot of where they're, they get their credibility. And you need that because there's so, however many um, of these Muslim populations, not amongst the elite people, they don't give, they want their power, they want money. You know, they're trying to hold on to it. In, in the Middle East, you know, you have a lot of these regimes where even if it's a president, it's like a dynastic president or something, like they have people who want to stick around in power. And Israel knows this quite well. Israel's greatest threat is from terrorism. Like, like what they're getting hit up by now. Uh, you figure Hamas can attack them. But even it looks like Hezbollah is trying to, they're trying to bitch out like the cowards they are. Because Hezbollah is only, the, so far they, they love to attack uh, Syrians. They'll hit up the, the they'll attack the um, Sunnis and, and they'll say, oh, well, these people are, are like Jewish or they're, they're like uh, Western Asians or something. And that's why they'll say, ISIS is like made by America. That's what they all say. They need to get that legitimacy because if they're being attacked by their own people and they're terrorists, but, and it's actually the people who are attacking them are actually the most incorruptible, the most idealistic, the most, and, and actually probably the people who would eventually take the fight to Israel because that's in their mind. They have to say, no, those are Israeli agents and we're fighting, we're defending, you know, so, the, and, and this is why when, um, these pro-Russian people will say, well, Putin is totally justified because there's human rights violations going on in Ukraine. So Putin can just, his invasion is justified because in Ukraine, there's human rights violations against minorities. You know, they won't let people speak Spanish or, I mean, um, a Russian or something. You know, they won't let the minorities speak, you know, so the invasion is justified because of human rights violations. You'd say, well, would it, would it be justified to invade, um... Assad's country on you know because he's a human rights pilot no uh, he is not he is fighting the Israelis he's fighting the American you know you don't he's not fighting his own people at all you know because you would say well it seems like he's just targeting um different ethnic groups that you know he's targeting like the Sunni the Sunnis who he rules over because he's a Shiite you know like no, no 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 he's fighting Israel even though Israel's right next door he's not jumping in the fighting you know, every Arab regime has to say, you know, we're, we're against Israel and stuff. We're against Israel, you know. Well, here's what would happen if they would actually would fight. They'd get the pants beat off them because every one of their armies is complete garbage. And, you know, <laughs> like, I mean, come on now. If, if, like, uh, they don't have it in them. They're going to get their pants beat off of them because... <laughs> These Arab regimes are no good. What could what what could actually be a threat to um, is like th these Mujahideen terror groups. That would be a bigger threat to Israel. But luckily for Israel, they've got the whole Middle East locked down with groups that have no interest in fighting against Israel because they want to hold on to power. But they have people who 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 maybe do still want to take on Israel and do still want to fight America, but first, who do they need to fight? Their own government. But who's their, what's their own government going to say? No, they're going to say, well, that, those are Israeli agents. They'll say, and then, but then you, get, then you get the dummies in America, in the West, who actually internalize the stuff. Like, it's like these Arab regimes lie to, for their own legitimacy, and we have, dumb enough, we have people dumb enough to just be like, who think that they're like, I mean, and, and they're like, it is like the woke right, because they act like they're woke, you know, they act like, if you don't, they'll be like, don't you know that it's the, ISIS stands for the Israeli Secret Intelligence uh, Service, or something? <laughs> it's, it's the Israeli Secret, as if that would be a good, like, a, a good acronym for the, you know, the Secret Intelligence <laughs> Service or something, it's the Israeli Secret, that's their evidence, is ISIS stands for the Israeli Secret, you just tell these people stuff like this, they have minds like, like dogs, like, you know, where they just, uh, they're, they think that's great. And then, then they think they're smarter than people who live in the real world. Mm. Everyone else is stupid. Um, but you depart from reality and now we've got a hip load of people departing from reality in our country. It's every kind of tanky 
and distant right loser who will just embrace all this stuff. And just hopeless people who will uh, who will snatch defeat from the jaws of victory every chance they get. Yeah. The, all all the stuff they have in their head is complete garbage. It, it makes it difficult to talk to people because, like, I I like to talk to people, but over and over again, you just you come across people and everything in their head is total nonsense. And it, I think it's really embarrassing when uh, like an American internalizes some like tin pot Arab dictator's propaganda and like believes it, and will be like, dude. Israeli secret intelligence service or something like you know how dumb you are like like immediately you're like max IQ might be like 115 mm. that's the there's no way it, a, a, a smarter person it will just know like this this won't even this doesn't really make a lot of sense it doesn't seem that substantive but dumb people just very um cursory things they're not going to do a lot of research in, into this stuff but that's what the masses will run into and now it's like you're just putting across the lowest common denominator across the board and all the dumb lies so if you if you want to be like some scurrilous lying grifter yeah you're going to be you're probably going to do pretty good you know, with all this stuff you have a perfect environment for your baloney like josh holly he's a senator there's a complete, you know, and there's tons of other people saying the same stuff as Holly, like Charlie Kirk, um, who, who's over, who's over right over in Phoenix, you know, this guy is like acting like the police for condemnations, like you need to condemn Israel <laughs> or you need to not, you need to condemn Hamas and like he's like getting on people, AOC didn't condemn Hamas hard enough. Well, hold on. This guy's been celebrating Putin for like the last <laughs> couple of years. When when Russia and and, and I, it's already kind of dumb enough. Like when people like when people I condemn the murder of civilians or something like that's that's really brave stuff. Man. <laughs> like who? Do, it's like saying like I condemn like serial killers or serial killers are bad or something like or I can like. Come on now, like, no one. Is, <laughs> I pretty, I typically kind of assume that people are against, um, like terrorist attacks on on civilians and stuff. Like, I, I typically assume people aren't for like just mowing down like random grandmas and stuff, unless they say that <laughs> like that's what they're about, or <laughs> unless they try to like. And once they start justifying it, you're like, okay. But you don't need to really come out. You don't need to tell me that you condemn the stuff or. Or that you you support Israel's right to defend itself or something. I mean, like, you don't need to tell me that. I, one hundred percent. I think I I don't really have an issue with Israel hitting back. Like I said, like I'm 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 taking a neutral stance in this just because Israel hasn't really shown itself to be like an ally with like mutual support. So, and also and like also like I'm pretty sure they can they can. This is their, this should be their fight. Like, there aren't compelling things to it. Like, with Ukraine, there's the Budapest Memorandum. Ukraine gave up nukes in exchange for security guarantees from, like, the U.S., Britain, you know, Russia, uh, others. You know, which means we have a commitment, you know. They did something that is like, you do this, we'll do that. In exchange for that, we'll do that. So, you know, it's like, hey, maybe America should keep our commitment. And also, we, you know, Russia, long-standing threat to, you know, the U.S., long-standing enemy. We don't really have that going on with um, Israel versus Gaza. You know, I don't, I don't, I think Josh Hawley's wrong that um, this is an existential threat that, that Gaza Strip's going to wipe out Israel. I think Israel's, is going to handle it. I think maybe, I do think Hamas, I think their plan is to, is to spark a regional conflict, is to escalate, is to create something, um, like a wider conflict, which quite frankly, like I, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy, you know, that, that we're in this position now. Like I'm not, I'm not like happy that like all, all of these people are like losing their lives or whatever. 
But I'm, I'm just going to say, like, once they took away, um, once Gates took uh, funding from Ukraine and stuff, I, 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 I was, I, I just started, like, once they, they knocked that, that funding out with all these stunts in Congress, I was just praying. I'm like, I don't see really how we're going to get funding <laughs> for a while. You know, our, the war effort is kind of crippled for now and people are going to like, so I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to pray that something will happen to give us an escalation to wipe the smirks off these people's face. If the, if the Lord can just smack these people and just make them uh, pour blood on their heads and just start some fires, you know, I've been praying for that and, and here we are. So it would be blasphemous if I weren't, uh, you know, like thankful to God for the position that we're in now. And I am, you know, I, I really think that this is, uh, not, not to say that this is, you know, you, however much you want to read into it, this is, this is something I prayed for. It's just something to happen to escalate, to create a global conflict. And within that, it could raise the prospects for Ukraine. I think the prospects are better. You know, I think even maybe Russia, maybe, I, like, I, I don't know. I'm not trying to say, like, people are behind this or that. But I, but I think Russia is always causing trouble in this or that. And I think probably they might have been figuring they were going to cause chaos as well. You know, I think that might be something that they, but, you know, because some people are saying, well, some people say, I think Russia maybe did this and they, they want this kind of kit. But I think I think we do too. And so far, I mean, it looks like they're talking about uh, if they tie, if they tie the Ukraine funding to the Israel stuff, fine, fine. They're gonna give money to Israel anyway. Like, I I, I could give a rip. And if things kind of change, okay, I, I'm welcome to this for that. You know, the to me, number one issue is Ukraine. I don't, I'm not gunning for like whatever to happen with between Israel and, and, uh, Gaza. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm like, I I have feelings and opinions about it, but like, like I'm, I'm not trying to really get that involved, but like whatever happens, we probably are going to get involved, especially if this turns into a more regional thing, if Lebanon implodes, which is why Hezbollah is, um, they're bitching out. Hezbollah is saying that uh, you know they don't have a president, so what can, we can't really go. You know, so even the other terrorist groups, the non-state terror groups, are not really gearing up to get into this thing, just like these Arabs are. You know, like I said, these the Arab anti-Zionists tell about as many lies as the Christian Zionists. It's it, it, this really is a prism of of lies. It's the same stuff we see before when the Middle East kicked off, like in um. 2014 and for the the years after that's the last time we've seen this stuff where who i mean we're just like a crazy amount of disinformation you know whatever it was hard to figure out then but maybe we're getting closer closer to figuring it out either way you know like i th i think it, it it's i think this is a, a horrifying like it is a barbaric uh attack on Israel you know, it, it, some of this stuff is pretty sick at the same time I mean you know Hamas is a terrorist group so it's not like I mean like wag my finger at a terrorist group uh, at like like they're not going to feel bad about it because I say like that's <laughs> that's like a, a bad thing what you did like that's bad and the other jokers are like the leftists and right wing crybabies who take like a thing like like the IDF is the most ruthless band of killers and stuff like the IDF is notorious for ruthlessly, de you know, they make them sound like, they just make them sound like a professional army. They make them sound like good troops because good troops are going to be ruthless killers. And that's the business, you know, but we have people who are pansy wimp. And part of it is they've been ingesting so much of the propaganda that they've internalized. Russia tells them all this stuff like, you know, you should be isolationist. You should be a total pansy. You should be, you know, you should just be do nothing your whole life, you know. So people, you know, other people, you know, oh, we don't, re we're, we don't really mean like when, when we glorify war, we didn't mean like war. We meant like at the gym. We meant like in like a mafia way. 
you know, as if as if distant right nerds would last like two two days like in some like mafia situation you know these people couldn't be you know these these would be the these would be the drug dealers who get robbed you know <laughs> that's the kind of people that uh that's the kind of people we're dealing with you know? <laughs> and like you know, just want to be uh just goofballs who are good for nothing we need people who are actually have some hardness to them you know we need some people who actually give a hoot about things that are true and that pay attention to facts and like you know if those people are out there great i mean if if they're not whatever you know i'll talk to myself but like, if they're out there, I mean, that that's awesome. Like, that's the people we need. Not to, not just these clowns. Not people who just say stupid stuff. Like, to um, you know, for their for their like internet. Like, we, like we need actual real men at some point. At some point, people got to grow up. You know, it it just so happens that as far as the the distant right goes, most of these people, you know, they get a girlfriend, and you never see them involved in this kind of politics ever again. You know, that's that's how it is. You, know, you you might not believe me, but it's that's the truth. So but here we are. We have a we have a a perfect situation. Josh Hawley and all these other numbskulls like this. Who whoever else comes in with this 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 should almost be compiled and just again and again which is you know Take the money from the 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 Gentile goyim that you know, because we have like if there's a or whatever, and give it to you know, give it to the you know, they sound like insane and like like it's not even it's not Jewish people saying this, it's not even Israel saying. This. I mean, maybe like maybe there's somebody in the shadows doing it, but I I don't know. I have no evidence of that is the Christian. Christian Zionist, total fake Christian. These people are offensive to me because these are fake Christian, you know. And I don't have I don't have a problem if if the if people are um if people are pro Israel and pro Ukraine, even if they're like a hardcore Zionist, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with them. I don't I respect because um you know I mean they're they you know. They, they, whatever. Ukraine, Ukraine is, is, is to me, is, it's, it's not worth, I'm not doing any, any, any kind of counter signaling. And, uh, I don't rip on people who are, no matter how much cringe I see from like, like NAFO people or something, people come at me all the time and they'll be like, Carrie, you, you know, hey, Carrie, like, they'll be like, Carrie, yeah, I, I wanna, I wanna, you know, get into, uh, you know, I want to support Ukraine or something. I hate Russia. I get it. You know they suck, but you know, some of the, I've I've seen something that's like cringe from like Ukraine or something. Like I don't get what these people are. are I don't get what they're really on about. Like the shit. The issue isn't who's the most cringe or something. I mean, there it, it is. It's it's more like there's people who are like um, not far from the front line who are going to be killed. Like. <laughs> If if this war effort collapses, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's people who are like, oh, hopefully the U.S. has our back because Russia's like right there and they're going to kill us. And then, you know, their village gets nailed by artillery and they're dead or like a Iskander missile or something takes them out or something. Like, it's not even about, like, and, or people say, oh, the, the government, the Ukraine government's so corrupt or they're so Nazi or they're so... Uh, or they're so Jewish. Like, I don't really give a rip. Like, you know, like, I don't, like, whoever will defend Ukraine is, is, is dope. Like, you're, you're, those are the people who are actually defending our people, who are defending, like, lives, who, like, don't you think in the future people are going to, like, appreciate that? Like, you saved my life versus scumbag Holly, who's like, like, nah, you could die. Israel needs to live. Only Israelis are only their lives matter a, a hoot in in the eyes of the Republican Party, you know, in the eyes of the the conservative populist movement. 
no lie. I like if you're a Republican and this doesn't apply to you, don't just don't take offense because it doesn't apply to you. You know, if you're if you're all about Trump and this doesn't apply to you, this doesn't apply to you. Like I don't need to cause offense to people. Like I'm I'm I don't like to offend people. I'm not trying to be like offensive or contrarian. The, to me, it's just like we have a war effort. Whoever is is involved in putting work in is is great. I think I think those are the people who deserve to rule uh, Europe going forward. Like whoever, if if, if it's if it's uh, if if I mean if it's Brandon Zelensky and the Azov Battalion, I think you know who defend Europe, then they should rule Europe. If Trump if Trump does it, then he should you know. But it's not going to be Josh Hawley. Josh Hawley should be, uh, you know, he shouldn't be a, a senator. These people should not be should not be holding power. And, you know, it it it's debatable what to what extent they they could even be useful at all. Because these are traitors, you know. And and I mean, you know, it, it, and to to the extent that the people are traitors, you know, hopefully we can have a reckoning because like. Wars present all kinds of new possibilities. And the longer this goes, the wider this goes, the more cowards that come out of the woodwork, it will just get wider. It will just get longer. But the more possibilities will will open up. You know, un until people get right and start fixing things, it, it's it's going to be uh, just more of a bloodbath. Because this is this is how the world is supposed to work. If you're a piece of if you're a piece of trash and you're a coward and you're a wimp. And like you, you know, you, I mean, nuts to you. Like you suck. Like why, why, why should we care about how much you want to live in peace or something? How much, you know, oh man, before all this, we were making all this money. Our portfolios were looking like, was the guy like, um, oh, he's another one like Charlie Kirk or something. Like it's like, oh, Char like Charlie Kirk. He's been all about Russia's war the whole time, but now Charlie Kirk, you know, He's like getting all over people's cases for not supporting Israel enough, but he supports Russia like like wiping out people's like cities. He doesn't care about like all the people in Mariupol who who were killed because you know he'll just say those are just Nazis. You know they had it coming. You know they they persecuted minorities for for speaking minority languages or something. That's that's what he you know. He he's a piece of garbage, and you know, like, I don't know. It is. Who's the other guy? Oh yeah, that this this guy. He's not. He's like Joe Joey Joey Manorini Manorino. No, like it's it's all it's always these, and this guy is like some kind of white nationalist um, talk show host. Like, even though he's like, like Joey Manorinoini, or you know. He's he's all about like um Israel, you know. Hey, was Israel so? Oh. And he's like, he's like, man, uh, ah, oh, so awesome, Netanyahu. He doesn't beg for money or anything. Like, like, like it. That's called because Israel's the number one recipient of U.S. aid, military and non, ever in history of like any in, and that's. Year after year after year, uh, are you paying attention? Like, no matter what, we're giving Israel billions of dollars, in my, and Republicans have never had a problem. They've always celebrated it, and the and the, just on the same, all the people before, like Candace Owens, she works for Ben Shapiro, who is a traitor, and Candace Owens. F Ukraine, uh, 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 uh. Americans need the money. Uh, we're hurting for money. You think I care? Mm, 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 mm. You think I, you know, you know, she's like, F Ukraine. Uh, uh, uh. You think she's going to say that about Israel? You know, I mean, let, let's just see. Like, all these people, like, this is so, like, this is such a, like, perfect, like, position. As long as they're in this situation. You know, the only the only trouble is all the all the the right wing is so corrupted by Russian influence that they're all they're all supporting Russian Bolshevism and all this crap. They're all supporting all the dumb leftist crap. They're all supporting Russia. So they can't even make these points. You know, they can't they they have to make kind of smarmy 
<laughs> the discourse is so dumb. <laughs> you know, like, okay. This is, they'll be like, this is, you know, worthless. So, otherwise, we would have had these people, uh, if, if we had a right wing that was worth anything, they would be in a p perfect position to attack, 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 you know, but we are we have most mostly complete garbage people. I mean, this is this is fine. I, I as long as people who have any sense still exist, like it's whatever. I mean, it it would have been better if we had like a better um, front of people who are all about defending Europe, defending Europe from Eurasia, from the you know. But we don't. We ha we have most mostly people who are kind of traitors who have a head full of crap, who will tell you tell you about the Israeli secret intelligence service is actually you know and all their idiot ideas. They they know absolutely nothing about any war ever, and then they're gonna tell you all this stuff. And they they would be these people couldn't fight their way out of a, a paper bag. Like let's just face it. And they don't have any um, moral or spiritual courage, you know, either. Because we didn't hear them. We didn't hear them in the past when, when all, all this stuff was given to the dogs. Where have they been? You know? Now they, now they, they gripe. Uh, I don't really... <laughs> they'll be like, I don't really like, like our country. Cause the, but these people are old enough to have, um, to have like thrown a fit about it. Instead, it's like Jackson Hinkles who... Before we're always uh, doing everything to to be um, for like subversion to undermine our country to trash it to put it through the gutter, and now they're like, "Look at this country; it's in the gutter." It you put it there, you know, Hinkle. All you people, you know, you're the ones who did it. You know, you'd think that they could just get in, involved in some like institution and start undoing the work that are like, you know, but instead they act like. You know, it wasn't them who ruined the country. In fact, it was, it was all, it's always been all these distant uh, people. Now they're a distant right, but they're not that much different than like, um, like edgy Gen Xers who'd tell like dead baby jokes or like, you know, just try to like offend people with like pornography and stuff like that. Like, that's how people were like, like, that's how these same people were. When I grew up, that's how these people acted. Like, it was like about like, being edgy and offensive in like these most dumb and like degenerate ways. That's how all the Gen Xers acted. Like when I was growing up, all all the Gen Xers would act, would act like that, and they were like the edgy, like f the government, and they'd they'd tell you all this stuff. They'd tell you about the CIA, like how the CIA is like they, you know they, they how they run. You know, do you know that they're um they're behind all the drug wars in uh in Central America and South America, you know. You know, that that's how these people that's how that's how the country was really um largely ruined with these kind of just complete um just numbskulls. So we have no shortage of these people. It's it's fine, whatever. It's just that at some point we need we need to start people need to start growing up and getting on the program and then if we could just build something to just smash the Charlie Kirk uh trash just take out the garbage with uh, Senator Josh Howley. You know, th I mean, this is a great uh, this is a great boon to just catch people straight out in the open. I don't know anything else about Josh Howley, and you know, there isn't a and there isn't one more thing I need to know about a piece of trash like that. I, all I need to know is you're an enemy of Western civilization, and that you're you're totally compromised. You know. Because look at how much of a hypocrite you are. <laughs> like, it's not like, like, what? How come this is the biggest thing for you? Let's hear it. Let's hear the responses, you know. It's like, oh, it's, it seems like there's people who are like, um, from Europe who might need like, uh, help or no, you know. Well, how, how come, how come it's fine if they die in like, in like thousands and thousands? You know, hundreds of thousands of uh, of, of of Nordic, you know, like European, uh, Slavic, 
Uh, people, you know, if all these, if, if these people are, are killed, it's fine. It's fine to them. It means nothing to them because, I mean, for what? Why, why is that? And they're going to run away with their lives, but if they just keep on getting pressed with the truth, it's going to catch, catch up with them. They're complete scoundrels. And the, I mean, these are just, uh, I really think they're just reprobate devils, cursed of God, you know, and if they, if they can survive this war, you know, God forbid, then, you know, ho hopefully, hopefully when the dust settles, there, there'll be a reckoning, you know, where, where people start to see things a little bit more clearly. But right now, you see who our enemy is because he's right out in the open. It's Josh Howley. It's you know, it's it's all the people like that. And it's everyone. It, these these names need to be compiled forever. Nothing else needs to be known. It's just what you you want to just huh? I, it seemed like you said that you weren't about funding foreign wars. You said Americans don't have enough money to fund foreign wars. But then your position was to um, take the funding from the war, not to the border, but to Israel. Huh, you, you could have said you'd put it to the border, but you, you instead to Israel. I thought you said America was, uh, how come you said this? Or th Just hit them up. You know, if, if, if we have people who are, who are uh, if we have people who are aggressive like that, just, just get, just get these scoundrels right, right by the proverbial throat. And just, you know, don't let them get away. <laughs> yeah. You know, they, because they, they've got us surrounded, but they won't get away this time. So, it's Josh Hawley. He's just a complete piece of trash. And just, <laughs> just keep pounding away at these freaks until they're just completely exposed and until people just are just, just completely sickened by him until people are just as until across the board people are as disgusted by josh holly as the as the israeli uh survivors of the terrorist attack <laughs> you know that's what they say i i saw you know i when i saw holly i saw holly say that like got him and i'd, I'd seen other uh conserva conservatives say say much the same thing before you know the charlie kirks the Joey Manorinis and the, uh, you know, all, all kinds of these trash like that. Every kind of Christian Zionist, fake Christian, take you to the bank. You know, like, like if, if that's your position, you think you're, you, 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 I, I'm, I, you think I'm really going to believe that you're like a real Christian and you're like, you're on your way to heaven. You know, I, I think you're a liar. I think you're an infiltrator. I think you're a compromised devil kind of person who's just telling lies. I think you're a piece of filth. And I think your religion is a complete garbage. And I think you you know your your brand of fake religion. You know, cause how is that how is that even a principled thing? You know? I just think you're a complete liar. You know, you're a hypocritical Pharisee, just reprobate is what you are, you know. I mean, because I mean, because I personally wouldn't be comfortable telling that many lies, being that compromised. You know, like we did a show about homeless bums, but I, you know, I'd, I'd rather be a homeless bum than a Josh Howley, this complete rat. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't live with myself if, if that was my, uh, if I had to look myself in the mirror, you know, and you, you're just a complete lie. That's that's what that's what Josh Holly is. Yeah. You know, he's just a ghost of a man. You know, he's not even a man. He's just an animal, a brute. You know. I don't know, but yeah, I like this is super dope. I hope I hope everybody can just um I I hope we just keep on hearing this. I you know, hmm. Be, be, and, and frankly, th this is something that's going to resonate with people. It, it, it is intriguing, isn't it? You're going to be like, hmm, you know, you know, yeah, I didn't see that that guy was that ideological. I didn't see that he was that, he had that, what is his thing? What is his ideology? 
you know, why does he have a secret ideology where he, you know, he lies about things, you know, where he says that this is, where he says he's about America. He says he's about America, but actually it turns out he's, he's, he's actually just for Russia. Is <laughs> right. Isn't it? You know, is he for America? The answer is no. Is, is Josh Hawley for America? No, he's not. Is, is, what has he done for the country? You know, forget it. And, and I, you know, even, I don't know, like some of these people have put, have put, uh, they, they, I mean, they, they've, they've put money in my bank account, probably Charlie Kirk's people, uh, with what, what the conservatives pulled with, um, Ducey with, with, with the ESA where, um, homeschoolers got like seven grand per kid, you know? Well, great, great, you know, but you know what? Like at the end of the day, I, I I'm giving no zero credit to Charlie Kirk, you know, because Charlie Kirk is just a lying piece of trash who, who you know, is maybe used by God or the devil or whatever. But everything's gonna, everything will will be used for the good, you know. For me, <laughs> is what I is what I believe, you know, and so hopefully, hopefully this is good. Hopefully this poll pulls a big win in for uh, Ukraine. Personally, I'm not getting swept up with uh, Is Israel versus Hamas. There's not going to be any, um, you know, cheerleading for that. Uh, like I, I think it's horrible what that you know. I, I like because you know, I mean, you, you see some of the stuff, you see, like, the, the kid, he's crying about his sister who just got, like, shot right in front of him and stuff. Th this is, like, this is pretty horrible stuff. You know? But, it, I mean, so it's, like, and it, also the other way around, yeah, the airstrikes, were, but they've got a war on their hands. They've got a fight. I mean, maybe maybe they just need to deal with it and get it out of their system, and we need to let the chips fall. But, the, you know our our fight for real like the r1b fight is ukraine is it not like that's where that's where we have uh you know that's that's where we have our commitments you know that's where i think we can draw a a, a firm frontier for europe and just say we're not letting uh eurasian armies pass through you know like <laughs> You know, you'd be like, you're not even like European, but you know what? Like, we need, uh, we need, we need people who who don't just think about stupid, um, petty nationalist stuff. Because when people act like, you know, because I don't like, yeah, I would rather give money to the Azov regiment than, uh, than you know, than to buy iPads for the the inner city public schools, you know, in America. You know, but those are Americans, you know, but like, let, let's, let's be real. Like we have a civilization that we're a part of. We have a wider thing and we, we want mutually supporting allies. And that, that's where we've been very strong in the past. America is very strong at that. And in World War II, we didn't have like, we didn't really have the best, um, the best of everything. Like, you know, cause we were fighting a, very talented dedicated army like who were like marshaled but what we what we were exceptional at was maintaining wide uh like a wide alliance you know so even though even where the front didn't really move dynamically it was a, a very wide front with a lot of partners all moving at once that's what america's really good at so you know who, whoever wants to be america's friend like I, I I say we should be, we should be friends with you know whoever wants to run their mouths and say that that we support ISIS we should bomb the piss out of like you know you just shut the hell up like I don't appreciate that one bit like America doesn't America has not ever run ISIS or whatever like ISIS was started by America no it wasn't you are internalizing a uh, Arab a tin pot Arab dictator's propaganda whichever dictator whichever Arab dictators. Muka Barat came up with that. You're dumb enough to put it in your head, even though you're not, you don't even speak Arabic and you don't, you know, you're just a complete numbskull. Mm. 
a lot of people like if if you ask most any of our um you ask a lot of these Arabs and, and, and they really do believe that, you know, they really do believe what they're told about the stuff. Like they like they'll get carried away with it. But no, I don't appreciate that. Frankly, you already see what the Iraqis, you know, as much as they could have been a friend of the US, there's no reason why they ever had to really especially the, the Shiites. These are the most like the U.S. basically got the Sunni dictator right off their back who's killing them. And then they just chimped out and started, like, raging against us for, like, no reason. And then we had to just keep on mowing them down for, like, years and years while they cried about it. And then, and even, even we were, like, I happen to know, I, ha I happen to know guys who were, like, tapped to, to, to raid, um, Muqtada al Sadr. And but it just kept on. You no, know, stand down, stand down, stand down. Not to, Washington didn't want to do it because there were some areas. I, I'm not going to say that we fought Iraqis with kid gloves. We did not. My unit did not. We went in completely ruthless. And many like it wasn't like we fought with one hand, but we did do stupid things. We did make mistakes. We probably shouldn't have left a lot of these um, Shiite nut jobs, uh, you know, to to have the kind of power and influence because these people aren't are just they're slanderous they're threatening our people yeah. we we should maybe bring back like a saddam type like a sunni dictator so maybe like a kurdish maybe like a kurdish sunni should be like running iraq like not these yahoo um backstabbers you know we need we need legit allies so if we can install someone a little bit better than these uh jokers you know unless the shiites want to turn their crap around but who knows um yeah anyhow josh holly uh freaking <laughs> completely compromised rat 